Fonzie sent me this video on social media yesterday and uh, rage came upon me in a sense, right? Yeah. I feel like we should pick a fight with the guy that <laughs> made this video. <laughs> like we should literally... Are you actually saying something that you know, that you've learned, that you've tested? Don't just go, paste it on AI and tell them, write the same thing in a different way. Like, dude, that that you, is so freaking yeah, unethical. Yeah, it's almost like lying, right? Leveraging this. And what sucks is that- That's yeah, not- That's not right. That's not what I personally want to be sharing with our clients. If you are authentic, right? And not everything is perfect. That's when people are gonna start seeing that as more valuable. Bring out the boxing gloves. We've got some hey, fresh I'm new Luis. Young talent. Hey, I'm Luis. And I'm Luis. And you're listening before. to the Content One, is Profit two, podcast. Three, Welcome back to Content is Profit. Fancy. We just recorded like <laughs> five minutes, uh, and then you know when to. Yeah. You know, but anyways, today to, we, to, to not say bad words, it just went bad. It just went <laughs> south. Went to hell. Uh, anyways, uh, we have a special episode today. Fonsi sent me this video on social media yesterday, and uh, rage came upon me in a sense, right? Yeah. And so you have a sense of what we're talking about. We're talking <laughs> about ethics in content creation. That's right. And, uh, you know, Fonzie send, sends me a lot of videos and usually my response to them is like, I'm going to ignore them because uh, it might be some type of knowledge or thing, but... I, you know, knowledge. Knowledge. I'm over knowledge at the moment. I'm in execution Q in mode. Ty Lopez. <laughs> knowledge. Uh, we've learned a ton. We have a lot of potential knowledge. We talked about this this morning. And uh, it's execution time, baby. Uh, but anyway, so this video, I just gave it a chance. And after seeing it, it tactically may be a cool thing. But at the same time, the way that it was, that people might take it, it will not be ethical to do it. Yeah, so. I think it walks in a <laughs> very, very thin. thin line between, you know, ethical content and unethical content. Yeah. And I think it's important to mention too that we kind of got our education in marketing in an industry that not necessarily talks about copying other people's work, but they do talk a lot about model what works, right? Yeah. But the guy, you know, explicitly talks about do not steal from other people. Mainly he goes like, Model what works, you know, learn from what they're doing, you know. Model is a key word. Yeah, you can learn from the structure, you can learn from the words that they use, but like when you put out work, like it has to be your own. Yeah, keep in mind too, like this is with context of the video. It's like, hey, if you want more views and you want to be famous AF, <laughs> at the end, I think it, that's what it is. So uh, I don't think on our side, we agree with that, right? Like if you want to put content out there, it's uh, for value for people to learn. And yes, there are tactics that you can that you can follow and levers that you can pull. But, uh, yeah. but that, you know, depends on what your goal is. So yeah, I mean, the, the a there's a thousand other things that you have to control or like be able to manage for your content to be successful in your eyes, right? Yeah. I mean, we're going to play the video, right? So you can hear the audio of it. But the main thing is he, he's promising virality. It's like, hey, look, you can go viral every single time if you do this. And then, as you will see in the video, goes ahead and proceed to pretty much steal other <laughs> other people's content right and you know if you are a coach consultant right speaker somebody that has ip like this does not benefit you maybe grabbing ideas and modeling ideas from other accounts that have gone viral you know and why would people want to go viral people relate obviously virality with more traffic therefore potentially more people converting to their offers but we can yeah. attest that virality doesn't necessarily mean a successful business, right? You don't need to go viral to have a successful business. Yeah. That aside... We recently actually have a story with somebody that we worked at. We looked at all the data for the past year. Everything increased 40%, 50%, 100% plus percent on cer certain aspects with the framework that's working. And they're still looking to make changes because that did not translate into sales, Yeah. right? Yeah. And it, social media growth doesn't mean that your business is going to thrive. So Yeah, exactly. Um, so that being said, we're going to play you the video right now and look at it through the eyes, again, of modeling. They use a lot the word steal, which I don't know if they did it on purpose to trigger people. And then people, you know, I know a lot of people that use this type of techniques to get people to engage in the comments. Yeah. But I don't see this one as a very good one because it's going to engage people in a very negative way. So let's, let's dive into the video. Yeah. Let's play okay. right here. And then... Uh, 
um, we'll do some of the commenting. You can go viral on Instagram every single time. It's not luck, it's calculated. I've used this three-step process many times to create viral videos like this, this, and this. Step one, head over to the site called Viral Finder and input the username of someone who's absolutely crushing in your niche. Once you do so, you're gonna list of their most popular videos. Step two, download their video using Snap Insta and throw it into Descript, then wait for it to transcribe the entire video script. Step three, copy and paste the fully transcribed script, then open up ChatGPT and put down this exact prompt you see on the screen right now. In a few seconds, you'll have a much more engaging version of the script that you stole. Record it, post it, and get ready to become f***ing famous. All right, all right. Quick little video in there. I mean, I will add, I do love the energy what he shares with stuff. I do like the edits. I think the edits are pretty good. But pretty much he is talking about stealing other people's work. And let's, let's work <laughs> part by part the process. Number one, find an account that uh you know has good viral videos and input in, inputted into the website that he shared i think it was like viral finders right and then it will give you their best content i think that is a great tool honestly yeah that tool i haven't heard of it but i think it's a great tool We've for heard you of to similar ones yeah right? we heard of similar ones yeah. but it helps you sort through the non-performing content so then again if you want to model not steal those good performing contents can be some sort of reference for you to move on to. Yeah, so, I mean, we talk about that often in like the first pillar, right, of the six elements that we say. It's like, what, what do we say, right? Unless, if, unless you're doing an interview, something different, definitely a good tool to have in your, in your belt or your team to use as well. Yeah. Step two, he goes on now and downloads the video. Again, I don't think there's nothing bad in downloading the video as long as you're not planning to use the same video, you know, and claiming, obviously, credits for yourself. Uh, if you plan to use it somewhere, I think you should text maybe the owner and tell them, hey, we're going to use your video for X, Y, and Z. But whatever. They're just using it for internal purposes, which is uploading it into Descript yeah. and transcribing it, which, again, at that point, I don't see anything anything wrong with that because it's all for internal purposes they yeah. could use that transcript to now you know like learn let's break it down why is this thing working here and there and again use it to model but i think this is this next step is the one that is a very fine line between <laughs> you know the, uh, the borderline between ethical and unethical content yeah and, and the I'm, next that I'm, it takes oh yeah go ahead no i mean I'm, I'm just saying everybody is free to do whatever they want. But at the end of the day, um, if you really want to build a personality, a brand, if you want to be known as a thought leader, right? I don't think this uh, reflects that because the next part, which is the the prompt, right? That he does with yep. ChatGPT um, is almost, I don't know, are you going to read it? Yeah. Actually, there's a comment here that wrote down the, the, prompt. the prompt. Okay. So Go I'm going to read the prompt, right? Mm -hmm. And the, again, we nowadays... It, people are using AI a lot for their content. Which is fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think there's proper ways to use it. I am not the believer on AI creating all the content for you and doing it all for you. Like, sure, it can help you kickstart, you know, fill a little bit of the blank page and then you put your IP, you put your stories, infuse it with your energy. Like, you become the creator and AI is sort of a helper along the journey. But... This is the prompt that was shared on that video. Rewrite the script at the end of this prompt to create an educational, informative one minute video. Keep in mind that the video script will be read out loud and not shown on the screen. The script should follow the following format. Hook, describe the problem in more detail, discuss the solution, give more detail of examples of the solution, call to action. The hook should start with one of the following lines adapted to the topic. The easiest way for you to mm -hmm. give me 30 seconds and I'll show you to, and he goes ahead and puts like two more. And then he goes, total script should be a maximum of 120 words with extremely conversational tone and casual word choice. Here's the script to rewrite. And then paste the script that you transcribe in this script. Yeah. He's literally not adding anything of his own to this. He is, in a sense, plagiarizing somebody's content to just put it out there. Personally, I believe this is unethical. Now... The workflow, I think, is great. Sure, go and sort out good performing content, transcribe the content, but rather than plagiarizing it, use, learn the structure of that content, add your own information, add your own stories, like use that as a base for 
your own good performing content. Don't just go paste it on AI and tell them, write the same thing in a different way. <laughs> like, dude, that that you, is so freaking yeah, unethical. I just see, I mean, I just see like best case scenario for this type of stuff, right? Content works. Let's say you get a ton of content, ton of engagement, people commenting, be like, wow, this is so smart, so awesome. How do I work with you? Perfect, you close that sale and then they really wanna learn that thing, right? Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna uh, go ahead and learn it? Like, are you actually saying something that you know uh, that you've learned, that you've tested, uh, that's where my conflict comes, right? At the end of the day, uh, it's almost like lying, right? Leveraging this. And what sucks is that a lot of people are doing it and they're regur what's the, what's the word? regurgitating uh, other content that has been out there. So the same content is being recycled a thousand times, right? Literally, uh, <laughs> literally. It's an unending uh, okay. cycle of oh, recycledness. Man, this recycle <laughs> between the AI and people copying the stuff. So uh, again, that's why, you know, again, we're going to plug obviously the podcast because it's long form. There's no way of lying. That's like, clearly we do not ask ChatGPT to tell us what the script for this video would Blood be. Blood twist, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, also you can use that long form to then be like, then you can leverage and use these steps to then leverage what you already created from your mind, from your framework, from your experiences, right? To then maybe create the bullet points of the script that you wanna do. At the end of the day, you also know, people know if you're reading from a script or you're actually delivering the content. And and believe me, in 2024 forward, like we said in our predictions episodes, right? Yep, people yep. are going to lean more into trust with the people that are teaching them online or engaging with them online. So if you are authentic, right, and not everything is perfect, right, that's when people are going to start seeing that as more valuable. It is today, right? So I am sure 100% that mm -hmm. if you see that video, there was a negative reaction in most of you watching this content right now with like, oh, is another of these marketing bros yeah. doing their the, thing. This is the the meta creators, right? Or the creators that are talking about creation. creation. And oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. I will say there's a lot of them that are absolutely amazing. Yeah. We've had some of those here on the podcast. Yeah. Uh, we've had some of them on the HubSpot Podcast Network that are absolutely amazing, right? They do the work, they get in the trenches. They have small communities where they're consistently discussing, you know, how to become a better creator with their teams, with their community. But these meta creators that are just copying and pasting literally and, that's and what, transcribing that's is, what, is embarrassing. And there's literally a comment here that says, creators, you know, in quotes, creators these days, embarrassing. It is, it is embarrassing. The yeah. fact that you're like, this is how you go fire. You're trying to teach people how to do unethical thing. No, like why, instead, why don't you teach them to, you know, think for themselves? Sure, maybe you can teach them frameworks and structures on how to create engaging videos, but let them do the creating, the creating aspect of it, right? Put your own IP, share your own stories, like develop your own personality and put it into yeah. the video or whatever it is, you know, the vehicle that you create on. That's why we know, like we, because we've had those conversations, right? We're part of that, you know, flow of, of things because we're very proud of what we created. And then to somebody come in and steal that uh, freely, right? And then maybe have more success because of like the top of funnel, whatever strategy that it is. At the end of the day, right? Uh, your content is gonna attract the people that you really want in your life. And you're gonna find out like, that might not be the right person that the, that you might be attracting, right? And then you will change and then you will go back to being yourself uh, if you wanna really uh, make a mark or a positive impact with the people that you're you know, sharing your content with. So yeah, I, uh, feel, I feel like we should pick a fight with the guy that made this video. <laughs> like fight. we should literally Bring do a, a remix of his video roasting it. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds perfect. I mean, it, sure, it has a lot of view, it has a lot of followers, but at the end of the day, like it, it is unethical, right? Like that's yeah, not that's not right. That's not what I personally want to be sharing with our clients, right? That, that's what I I don't want to be sharing that with our community. I want people to be inspired to create with their own IP and their own stories. You know, right. maybe wake up and you know they're having a hard day. They're like, oh, I know I need to create something, but you know, once they create it, that they feel good with themselves because they actually created this thing they just didn't copy and paste it from somebody else that's right i mean how sustainable is that you're gonna get bored real fast uh anyways rant over yeah let me <laughs> let me bring out the boxing gloves that's right ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. 
yeah, that's fancy on it. But guys, with that said, thank you so much for tuning to the Contest Profit Podcast. Go ahead and follow the show in your favorite podcasting platform and on social media at BizBrosco. That is right. In today's episode, fire you up and you're ready to get in a fight. Please don't forget to share this episode and, and leave a five-star review. See ya. Bye, guys.